Hello friends, today we are discussing about the Norton theorem. Norton theorem is a dual of Thevenin theorem. Any linear bilateral network which is DC circuit which has one or more than active source. Active source can be voltage source or current source and passive elements. Passive elements to those elements which stores the energy or dissipate the energy. Maybe resistance can be replaced to a single current source and that is Norton current and the parallel with the single resistance. This combination is makes a Norton model and the load current can be easily calculate. Calculate. So now we can let assume a circuit is like this. There is a voltage source and which having number of Passive elements are connected. Suppose R1, R2, R3, and this R4, and this takes as a load, load resistance. So this network, DC network, can be replaced a reduction to a simple Norton model we can make, and that is the single current source as we have seen in a definition or statement. So that will be the current source, single source is current source and parallel with the resistant element. This is called Norton current or we can say or we can say short circuit current and Rn and that is also equal to the uh, internal resistance. So this model is called as a Norton model and now we can connect the load in parallel to the this model and that load is R4. So from this circuit, the currently complicated circuit which has more resistance or maybe one or more voltage source or current source, we can convert into a reduction circuit, the simple network is Norton model and now we can easily find out the load current in the branch of load circuit. So let uh, we solve uh, one problem by using the methods of Norton theorem. First we should discuss about the steps of the Norton theorem. So steps, first step is to, in Thevenin theorem we have done removal of the load. Now we will short circuit the load. Load or load resistance. The next step is to calculate short circuit current or that is also called as a Norton current. Third step is to calculate let Norton resistance and that is the same what we have solved in the Thevenin theorem that is RTH. So first step let us take a one circuit which has one voltage source number of resistance and load resistance we are taking here and that is equal to 10 ohm this we can take as a R R1 R2 and R3 and all values are 10 ohm 10 ohm 10 ohm and load resistance also 10 ohm and supply source we assume that so value is 20 volt for this example we can solve and we can find out the load current from the circuit so first step is to short circuit the load resistance so load resistance is here r is equal to 10 ohm now we will short circuit the load resistance so again we will make a circuit that will be like this 20 volt 10 ohm 10 ohm 
10 ohm and this 10 ohms branch we can short circuit so we are doing the first step now we have to find out the short circuit current and short circuit current is a flow of the current in the short circuit terminal and that is the short circuit so for that we have to find out the short circuit current we have to find out the the current flow from the source side and we can use the current by using current division rule in the short circuit current so that current will be i so first we have to find out the what is the current source current so for that purpose we can use here a kirchhoff law that this and this the source is here current is coming here now current is coming here this current will be divided in two path this will be i1 this will be isc so 10 and 10 in parallel with series of 10 so that is equal to resistance will be 10 plus 10 is parallel to 10 here again we, once again we see the current is coming here i the current is divided here and here so both are in parallel so both are parallel 10 and 10 parallel so that is equal to 10 into 10 upon 10 plus 10 and that is series of the this source current branch 10 so that r is equal to 10 plus 5 this is the value of 5 so total o is 5 15 ohm now we can find out i is equal to 20 volt upon 15 resistance and that is equal to Four by three ampere or three one point three three ampere. Now one point three three ampere is flowing here and it is dividing in a two branches. So again we will see this circuit. Twenty volt, and this circuit is ten ohm. This is short circuit path. So this current is coming here. How much? One point three three, or we can take four by three ampere. Now you can use the current division rule. By current division rule, the both resistors are same, and current is divided here. So we can take. 4 by 3 isc is equal to 4 by 3 is input current into 10 divided by 10 plus 10 so that is equal to 4 by 6 ampere because current is coming here is divided equally so 4 by 3 into 1 upon 2 that is equal to 4 by 6 ampere so isc we got here 4 by 6 ampere or you can say 2 2 by 3 ampere so now we got the value of isc or norton current is equal to 2 by 3 ampere now third step we will find out the rn and rn we can find out easily by using thevenin theorem where deactive the all the sources when we call from the imaginary side so now we can make a 20 volt again circuit 10 ohm 10 ohm 10 ohm and this terminal is open so remember that when we calculate the rn or rth is same procedure as we have done in a thevenin theorem and that should be open from that we deactivate the sources whatever the sources if voltage source is there we have to deactivate by short circuit if current source is there then we have to deactivate by open circuit so now we will short circuit 10 ohm 10 ohm 10 ohm 10 ohm and this is the imaginary battery 
so we can find out here r in the assume that current is coming from here i and this current is divided to path so this will be whenever the current is divided that branches become parallel and that parallel is equal to 10 and 10 5 plus 10 15 so rn is equal to 15 ohm so now we got the value again we will see here in is equal to 2 by 3 ampere and rn is equal to 15 ampere now we will make easily the Norton model and that will be 2 by 3 ampere and resistance is 15 ohm and now we will reconnect the load and load was given is 10 ohm and this is the IN so now we have to calculate the IL so IL we can get easily by using current division rule and that is equal to IN into opposite branch in numerator that is equal to RN divided by RN plus RL that is equal to 2 by 3 into RN is equal to 15 divided by 15 plus 10 so that value will be 2 by 3 into 15 divided by 25 30 by 75 can simplify Two by five ampere, or is equal to point four ampere. So by Norton theorem, we can find out easily the circuit is given is this twenty volt supply and number of resistance are here, and that is making a very simple way we can find out this circuit, this circuit. And this circuit we can find out easily by using Norton model. We can find out easily a load current value is 0.4 ampere. So this is all about the Norton theorem. Thank you.